And so what is yoga? Uh, and because I'm a yoga teacher, I think that yoga is the most misunderstood word in American culture. I'm sure other people would think there's other words. But to look at the word yoga, it comes from the Sanskrit root Y-U-J, uh, which means to yoke or to create union or to balance two energies. Oftentimes when we're looking at Sanskrit words and we're, we're translating them, or any language where we're translating from one into another, there'll be multiple words because there's some meaning that's lost by translating a word. So, but if we just look at the word yoga as being like a conjunction that's connecting two words to become one. How old is yoga? It's really kind of tough to say. Recorded history doesn't go much further back than 3,000 years. And some historians will say 5,000, some will say 7,000 years old. What I like to teach is that anthropologists say that we began burying our dead about 100,000 years ago. So I always contemplate what would make a human being bury another human being. There had to be some spark of, of, of insight that human beings began to believe that there was something within us that was beyond um, just this carcass. So I like to think that yoga is 100,000 years old. The old Indian master, B.K.S. Iyengar, who's 93 years old, in his book Light on Life, says that although yoga sprung from the soils of India, it is a gift to mankind. And I like that because yoga is a gift that everybody can benefit from and enjoy.